He says, Dylan, I stand to lose hundreds of thousands of dollars because of this decision. He says, what do I do? He said, our business was doing really well. I didn't think I needed the cash, so I went ahead and used it uh, to purchase or acquire uh, this asset that I would still like to use, but it just I can't afford to keep it anymore. What do I do? So, of course, we talked through the decisions that he had to make, got in touch with a lawyer, and started working through some of the details, but it just highlighted to me that as entrepreneurs, as your business begins to do really well, or as business owners, as you've got cash, you can misread the signs to say that life is going to be good forever. In my experience, two decades in, I can tell you that if your business is building cash, then you need a plan to know what to do with it. Part of that make uh, is to make sure that you've got money for the future. Part of it is to make a decision about what you can invest in inside of your business or leverage. And if you've gotten those two things taken care of, then you can look at doing something else with the cash. But inevitably, tough times are going to be coming. And as a business owner, you've got to be ready for those tough times and make sure that you've leveraged your good times really well so that when the economy bottoms out or your market changes, or in the case of this particular client, there were some unforeseen circumstances that he came up against, that you're ready for it. So take advantage of the good times while you have them because the tough times are inevitable and they're going to come. They will pass. You'll be back into good times again, but don't misinterpret the success that you might be having now because it could be short-lived or you could be giving back all of your gains when life doesn't really work out.